We'll expand to larger answers now. New question for you on gun violence. Councilor Prescott, there have been more than 400 mass shootings across America this year. You're a strong proponent of the Second Amendment, and you've said that to reduce shootings, the country needs more personal responsibility and education. How do you legislate for that and since it hasn't happened over the last 20 years of school shootings? Well, first of all, if we're going to uh, talk about uh, the Second Amendment, we have to make sure we remember what it says. It should not be infringed upon. So first of all, you make sure that our rights to own firearms are not infringed upon. And to have education, we have many organizations here in our state that offer uh, education and training on firearms. We also need to make sure the needs of our country are met for our mental health system, to make sure we have as much uh, opportunity for people to have the help they need to make sure that mental illness is not a problem with a, a firearm. So that when you talk about training, it's done by, by uh, many companies here in our state and make sure that people, when they're trained, that they keep their firearms safe and that's their responsibility. And when they can, if people are, are safe and responsible with their firearms, there are no mass shootings. Congressman, you voted to ban assault style weapons and for other gun safety legislation. At this point, after years of division in Congress that has had vastly different opinions on gun control, are laws like weapons bans worth pursuing or is there another piece of legislation you might be able to pass to reduce mass shootings? Well, thank you for this question. I think about the young people in this country that I meet so frequently that are doing active shooter drills in their schools and ask me to take steps in Washington to help address this situation. The fact is gun violence is the number one killer, number one killer of people under the age of 18 in this country right now. And we are not powerless to address it. We do have to build on uh, some of the initiatives that we've been able to get through Congress. Uh, just two years ago, we passed the bipartisan Safer Communities Law that uh, is beginning to make a difference in terms of banning straw purchases of weapons, having enhanced background checks for individuals under the age of 21. That's a good start. But there are other steps that we can be taking as a country to save lives and keep people safe. And we can do that consistent with the culture of responsible gun ownership that we have here in the state of New Hampshire uh, that I absolutely support. And so I think steps like the universal background checks law that I'm a co-sponsor of is absolutely needed to prevent dangerous weapons from falling into the wrong hands. We just observed uh, the one year anniversary of uh, the Lewiston, Maine shooting. Um, every day seems to be a different anniversary of a different mass shooting or uh, we're seeing something happen and unfold right before our very eyes in this country. It only happens in the United States of America. Let's prioritize public safety. We can do that consistent with people's rights and our culture of responsible gun ownership.